You know, I really, really need a tan. Like, where's the sun? I need the warm weather. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Now, I will say this because it's true. I haven't done one of these in so long. Like, I honestly can't remember the last time I did one of these. Today is Monday. Usually, I like starting my weekly vlogs on Sunday. But your girl was busy yesterday. She was tired. She wasn't in the mood, so... We're starting on a Monday. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Kayla Salenza. Make sure you subscribe to me down below and turn that little bell notification on so we can be friends, you know? Now, I'm not gonna lie, this morning I was not really in the mood. I had not really a good morning. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I'm struggling a little bit. I'm missing my mom a lot, so the past like week or so has been definitely hard. That's not the point of what I want to get into or talk about for this video. Maybe another video if you guys are interested. I don't know if you would be interested in that. Who knows? But I did receive a package which made me very happy because it's from Elfly. You guys know Elfly is my go-to brand. They had their birthday sale. It was their sixth birthday at the beginning of February, I think. Today is Monday, March 1st, and I just got the package. It took a little bit longer than usual, but she's here. I only got three things because... Honestly, I don't know why. I guess I'm just trying to save some money. I'm trying to be a little bit more like adult-like and responsible and stuff. So yeah, I didn't go overboard, but I got some cute things. It's not enough to make like a full try-on haul video, so we're just gonna throw it in here. Okay, so I bought three pieces. Two of the pieces are this set. Like, this color combo, I'm shook. Shook, it's so nice. Like. Okay, so this is the Surface Limitless Bra. I have this in a bunch of colors, honestly. I would say it's a close tie to the Tri Bra. The Tri Bra is probably my favorite, but this is so close. Like, they could be tied for first, but yeah. So, I got this in Rose Wine. So, it just has the Elfly branding right here. It is raised, so I hope it doesn't come off. But yeah, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does have padding. I like this bra just because it's like very minimal like i like showing off my arms i don't mind showing off my midsection so like yeah like you guys can see i have a tattoo here kind of like it's literally just sits right under your bust like i don't know how else to describe it the straps are very thin but they are adjustable on the back this is the back side this is what i love the most about this it has like this little crisscross but it's all open here so like you show your gains very nice. And just lowering the camera so I can show you guys the shorts. These are the Amplify shorts, favorite shorts ever. They're so flattering. They have like a little booty scrunch here. It has Elfly on the back, which is woven in so it won't come off. Um, I think they're the perfect length. Like I can put them a little bit longer if I wanted. It's not really a biker short, but like I like going like this, you know? It has a little bit of like the contouring around the side. I don't know if you guys can see, it kind of goes up here and down. And then a little close up on the booty scrunch. I don't know, did I say these are in the color Wisteria? I'm also wearing a size small. Now I did get the Amplify leggings from the last time or like their first launch. And I would say that these ones feel a tiny bit bigger, but still these fit me perfectly. Like I have no complaints. So this is the other pair I got. I bought also a black pair because I don't have, I'm on my tippy toes right now because the camera's too high, but I don't have a lot of black shorts. So I bought the Amplify shorts in black as well, size small. Today's not going so well. So I just dropped off my car at Volkswagen. I had to bring it to a dealership. Not the dealership that I just bought my new car at because that's about 40 minutes away from where I live. I had to drop it off just in my local city because my radio and whole screen system, rear view camera, everything is not working. This is a brand new freaking car. Sorry, I had an alarm set to book the gym. That's what that was. But what I was saying was my car, I literally just got, you guys recently just saw that weekend vlog, I picked it up. It's been about a week, a week and a half-ish almost since I got the car. And the radio worked the first day and then every day since then it hasn't been working. I forgot to take my camera with me. So I took a video just on my phone. So if the quality is a little bit different, that's why. 
but I took a little video I'll insert it now to show you what was going on so this is a quick little video I took so I turned my car on it's a push button start and as you can see my car turned on so like all the lights turned on but see my screen didn't turn on so like usually what you have to do is you press the volume button I did that nothing happened then I also double clicked it nothing happened I pressed the radio button I pressed the media button I was pressing everything I also have like this thing in my car where like if I wave my hand in front the screen turns on or it changes the radio station whatever tried all of that and nothing was working so yeah annoying the fact that it wasn't working literally ever just randomly turn it on like I don't want to drive and not be able to like listen to music or like if I'm reversing out of my parking spot in the underground garage I, my camera wasn't working like it just didn't make any sense brand new car so I was I'm pretty pissed off about it to be honest just because it's really annoying that I just got it it's brand new there should be nothing wrong with it nothing so here I am I'm hoping that it's not gonna be at the dealership too long they kind of have to figure out what's gonna go on they said they're gonna call me when they take a look at the car so I'm hoping it's nothing serious don't mind me I've been working for the past couple of hours but it's a little bit later and I kind of just wanted to update you guys Volkswagen called me and they can't fix my car today because they need to order a new radio radio module or something basically I have to get a whole new system which is crazy because it's a new car so I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave my car there because like it's not I'm working from home anyways so it's like whatever I don't really need it they're hoping the parts gonna be in tomorrow so I'm hoping that it is so that we can get this fixed and I can just drive my brand new car like any other normal person would so yeah I'll just update you guys probably later in the week what happens but yeah that's pretty much it nothing much going on today kind of just wanted to let you guys know that so yeah Alan's gonna be driving me to the gym later because no car happy Wednesday guys I honestly don't have much planned today my highlight of my day is my grocery shopping so I'm gonna just show you guys what I got it wasn't really a big grocery shop or haul this is just gonna be kind of really random I needed a couple things here a couple things there it was an interesting experience though because we scanned every single thing all of these items right here in the self checkout and then by the end of it when we we're about to pay we realized I didn't have my wallet Alan didn't have his wallet Alan was supposed to bring his wallet but he forgot it's okay I had to wait for him there because we literally scanned everything we had bagged everything so he had to run back to the condo get his wallet and come back and pay so yeah that was fun let me show you guys what I got this is the just of it again very random so protein we got chicken nuggets we got extra lean ground beef and then I got turkey I prefer turkey Alan prefers beef so we just kind of got a small portion of both I also got Haddock, I think that's how you say it. I've been eating this a lot lately. This is so good So I just got like the frozen fillets, but there's only 60 calories 0.5 grams of fat 0 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein in one little fillet it's really high protein It's fast to make I just throw this in the air fryer for like maybe five six minutes and really good for like lunch You guys know my frozen lunches. I only bought one this time. It was on sale beef merlot. This is really good We got sweet potato fries. These are my favorite. We also saw these wanted to give it a try i don't know how they taste if anyone's ever had these they're tater crisps i don't know they kind of just look like miniature tater tots they look really good so we're gonna try them they were on sale so why not we bought craft dinner extra cheesy this one bomb as always you guys know chocolate chip egos my favorite lactose milk for allen some random things i needed parmesan cheese ketchup we got a baguette. I got milk chocolate chips. I've been baking a lot, making brownies and stuff. I'm making more brownies today, so I needed that. I got burger buns, fruitopia, and bananas. What is up, you guys? Happy Thursday. It is currently almost 8 p.m. I didn't vlog today because honestly, I was at work for majority of the day didn't go to the gym and I just didn't really have anything special to like vlog but I kind of wanted to give you a quick update on my car so I ended up picking it up it's all good now everything is fixed the radio finally works the screen finally works the camera finally works so everything is good to go it did have to stay there for an extra day which was a little bit annoying but whatever 
that was pretty much the highlight of my day. Otherwise, I went to work like I mentioned. I took Kobe with me. I was there for quite some time. Work, stressful. So yeah, I'm just editing a video now. I'm watching Scandal and I'm going to bed because your girl is tired. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday. The weekend is finally here. I had a really long week. I'm hoping I can go to the gym today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because I'm on the wait list and I'm number one. And my time is for 12.15 and it is 11.30 now. So I don't think I'm gonna get into the gym today, which sucks. So I'm probably gonna have to do a home workout, but that's okay. I'm also on the wait list for tomorrow. I don't know why when I was booking the gym for today and tomorrow, which is Saturday, I was having a lot of trouble and I ended up getting on the wait list. So anyways, I just received a package from Kitty Gaines. How cute is this packaging? I'm pretty sure they're based out of California. They reached out to me on Instagram, asked me if they could send me a pair for me to just review and talk about and share my thoughts and feelings on them. I know I already did like a little haul at the beginning of the week, but I'm getting packages almost every day. I literally think I could do a whole weekly vlog of just packages, PR packages, my packages, Amazon packages. I don't know if that would be something you'd find a little bit interesting. Maybe let me know in the comments, but yeah. So I got the kitty contour leggings in gray and I got it in a small medium. And then I think the next size is a medium large. That's how they run their sizing. So this is what they look like. Or maybe, is it blue? Let me check. Oh, okay, so it's actually ink blue. So it's like, it looks like gray, but it's also blue. Like it's, it's, it's a mixture, but it's actually really nice. It has like the contouring on the butt underneath, has the contouring on the side. It has like these like laser cut holes at the back. They feel very soft and very stretchy. I like that it has a thick, and like high waistband. Okay, I just put them on first and foremost. Love the color. They're so comfortable, super comfortable. So quickly, first thing I want to say is they are super high waisted. Like my belly button is here and it goes really high, like really high. I mean, I don't mind it, but I think I'm gonna wear them like rolled like so, but they have the beautiful contouring down the side going like all the way down as well as under the booty, which is super cute. There is no seam here. As you can see, I did hike them quite high, so they fit me seven eighths. I just feel like I had to hike them all up just to get the booty contour where I wanted, but like, I like them. They're super comfortable, super comfortable and super stretchy. They're made out of 92% nylon, 8% spandex. I literally, like even bending down like this, I did legs yesterday, specifically quads and calves, so I cannot squat right now. I would do a squat test, but I just genuinely cannot. Even doing this is like killing my legs. As you can see, there's also no front seam and like there's no camel toe, so thumbs up to that. Look at my hair. <laughs> it's literally like, what is going on? I don't know. I need to go to bed. I'm tired. I've been editing this video, doing a bunch of editing for a bunch of different videos. And honestly, this video is getting, it's not too long, but I don't want it to be much longer. So I think I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to me down below. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pieces were from the Elfleet haul. I know it wasn't much, but I love the sports bra. Love it, love it. I think I've worn it like two other times since then. So yeah, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.